New on Big Two, another year has come and gone. ECISD getting ready to make some changes in 2020. Big Two's Felice Romero spoke to a board member today about some priorities for next year. She joins us now live with that report. So, Felice, what were some of the big issues on the table? Well, Katie, from a teacher shortage to maintaining school properties, ECISD has a lot to fit into their budget. But one board member says they're just happy to be a part of the process. With another year coming to a close, ECISD is preparing their 2020 budget. I think we have the leadership in place. We still have some uh, weaknesses that, that need to be improved. But for the most part, I think uh, we're head, finally headed in the right direction. The Board of Trustees voicing what they observe and think needs improvements. And we have some really great teachers that, uh, you know, put their blood, sweat and tears into their jobs that are being very successful in the classroom in helping to build character in the kids and things like this. And those teachers needed to be rewarded above and beyond. We're training kids for jobs that don't even exist. And, and we, have got to, we have got to make strides in our technology department that we would address the needs of our at-will people. And we did give them a raise last year, but we think that it needs to be a little more substantial this year. And making sure all kids have a fair chance to succeed, regardless of what school they attend. Who are the students? What kind of help do those students from that particular area need? And when we say equity, we mean the availability of of uh, finances to get all students on a level playing field. Another hot topic, property management and adding more staff to keep everyone safe on campus. Well, safety is multi-tiered and this is just a piece of the puzzle. Uh, we spent a lot of uh, uh, money and time last year on key entries and fencing and things like this, but it's a, it's a multi-layered process. Woodall says this is just the beginning of the budget process, and they'll adopt a new budget in June or July. Reporting live at the administration building, Feliz Romero, Big Two News.